ericmothersmother.com for September 28, 2018. It appears if we take a look at the monthly chart for Sears SHLD, looks like this is now turning into a very dark scenario because the RSI has just slipped below 30.9, which is a trap zone. And this does not look good as long as the RSI is below 30.9 for Sears. After trading as high as 147, 140 in 2008, this has been a very, very nightmarish move lower. And now the risk continues to be that as long as the RSI is below 30.9, this is not looking good. You take a look also here on a closer view. We've been trading below 30.9 over the last couple of months. Going back here, so let's say about June, July, when the stock was trading above $2 and continues to drift lower as long as the monthly RSI is holding below 30.9. If we take a look at the weekly, we can see the weekly has just dropped below 30.9. The more it stays below 30.9, expect there to be continued lower prices as it breaches the $1 price mark for the first time. And we can expect lower prices just like once we moved below 30.9 here. We held below 30.9 until we came off that 30.9 level at much lower prices here. So again, as long as we are below 30.9 on the weekly, expect lower prices. And this is not looking good at this pace. The RSI on the daily is just moving below 30.9 again. This is looking very bearish. Keep in mind, a good example here when we dropped below 30.9. We have this price movement low. And we stayed below 30.9 and came off the 30.9 level at much lower price prices. In other words, the more you stay below 30.9, the more you're going to keep making lower lows. If we take a look at the two hourly, it just dropped also below 30.9 again. As long as the major time frame, especially on the monthly, as long as we're trading below RSI 30.9, we are looking at an instrument with the high risk of substantially lower prices, maybe even the filing of bankruptcy. Eric Morgan's mother, mother .com, as always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E A C S. Woo! Later.